what's up guys it's Talha here in this video I'm going to show you how to create wet ground surface in Revit before I get started I would like to ask you to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course you can follow the first link in the description now let's get started so here I'm in Revit and as you can see I have already opened this project and now I will show you how easily you can create the wet asphalt texture in Revit. So first let's select this road here. I created this using floor. So now let's go to edit type. Then duplicate. Let's call it wet asphalt. Okay, we can just leave it like that. Then click OK. Then go to edit and then open up the material browser here now let's create a new material rename this wet asphalt texture now click use render appearance and then go here and open up the asset browser and then go to appearance library then site work here you have some asphalt textures here so let's use this one this asphalt dark gray load this in and then here you can see we got these two textures so we will change this roughness texture here so click on this text here and then I will just go to a folder where, where I already placed the textures you can see I, I downloaded these two from the internet if you want you can just go to my website and directly download from there now you can use any of these so I prefer using this one so select that open and now let's click on this image and edit the scale of this let's try 10 feet click done and then we will reduce the reflectance to 1 uh, just make it 0 0.01 then click apply ok and we are done we can now render this scene so let's go to a view here let's go to this camera view and then render let's try uh, medium medium at 300 dots per inch and then click render so the rendering is now finished and as you can see we have created this very cool looking wet asphalt texture in Revit now let's render this scene in Enscape so first I will just save this image to this project and then save this project and I'm going to open up a different project because I have replaced these Revit uh, families with Enscape. So let's open that up. Here I have that. So as you can see, I have placed uh, all these uh, trees from the Enscape asset library. So let's start the Enscape and render this project. So the Enscape is now started and as you can see this uh, uh, this wet ground surface is looking a lot more realistic. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope this trick would be very helpful to you. So please make sure to like and share this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And don't forget to turn on the post notifications and don't forget to check out my interior course. You can follow the first link in the description and yeah. See you guys in the next video.